This is a valve that you normally find on copper water lines under the sink and under the toilet. Make sure the valve you buy is not a compression valve, but is labeled nominal sweat. You will also need the following supplies. This is lead-free silver bearing soldering wire. Prepare the wire by pulling out about four to five inches and then fashion a curve on the end. You will also need water-soluble paste flux. This will coat the pieces that fit together before soldering. Obtain a small brush as well. This is the applicator for the paste flux. You may be able to find these as a kit for purchase. And finally, a propane torch. This is the heat source for this process. A sweat valve has an open threadless end. This is the end that receives the copper water line. Next, I remove the small nut and the inner ring. This is the valve's water outlet. It's where a hose will later be connected that feeds the fixtures. Begin by turning the water off the main valve and then opening up faucets around the house to drain the water out of the pipes. Prepare the water line by first placing a pan underneath it. This is new construction, so it's never had a valve on it. I will need to clean the pipe well with fine grit sandpaper. Once clean, use a pipe cutter to cut the pipe down to size. Clamp the cutter down on the pipe about two to three inches away from the wall. Thread the knob until it's snug. Rotate the pipe cutter around the water line while tightening the knob as you go. This makes deeper cuts on every revolution until the end comes off. Allow the residual water in the lines to completely drain out. For exposed water lines such as a toilet, you may want to put on a shallow flange. The flange will dress the site up where the water line protrudes from the hole in the wall. Slide over this line until it is flush. Once dry, prepare the end of the line once again using some sandpaper. This is the sandpaper that came with the kit. The next step is to apply the paste flux. With the use of the brush, apply a liberal amount of paste flux to the interior of the valve where the water line will be received. Repeat the same application to the end of the water line. Fit the valve over the water line and turn it to the desired position. Light the propane torch and hold the flame where the valve and water line interconnect. On the opposite side, test to see if the union is hot enough to melt the solder. Touch the side till you see evidence of melted solder. Once you reach that melting point, remove the flame and immediately run the tip of the solder around the union of the valve and the water line. As the solder melts, it displaces the flux that has covered the area inside. Allow the valve to cool and then turn the valve to the off position. Next, turn the water back onto the house. Once the air is out of the lines, turn off your open faucets. Return to the valve, wipe it dry with a rag, and check for leaks around the connection. Once you're satisfied there's no leaks, a hose can be installed and hooked to the fixture.